Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial and in this tutorial I'm showing you guys how to add a border to uh, different uh, objects or views. So what I'm going to be creating is I'm just going to create a um, a function because I feel like a function is more useful but if that's not what uh, you need to do then I can also show you guys how to just add it normally. So let me just call this border demo and I'll save this in my YouTube folder so the first thing I'm going to do is actually create a view so a view is actually anything like all of these things are just sub classes of views so I'm going to use uh, let me use a label as my example actually I'll just use a view to keep it simple uh, UI view let's just put that there and I'm just going to width and height and vertically center okay cool and I'll give this a different color so it stands out and let me just call this plain view alright cool and now I can actually start creating my function so it's an extension of a UI view and then it's called the function add border and it has some parameters so first of all we have the edge and uh, UI edge and basically that's just left right up or down then it's color that's uh, easy to know what it is uh, let me spell it I should put it in my UI color and finally thickness this is a float and it needs to be CG float since that's how the layers work and things. First thing we're doing is creating a sub view. Uh, sub view equals UI view. Next thing we need to do is uh, uh, turn translating auto masking constraints. What? So that's like if it goes out of a bounds, it's not going to show. Uh, and I'll make that false. And finally, we can just change the background color to the color which we selected. And now we can add this sub view. Okay, but now we need to worry about the edge. And we need to know which edge the user selected. So I'm going to use a switch statement uh, edge case, and this is dot top and dot bottom. And in these, we will just uh, let me just do that for now. Then the next case, we have dot left and dot right. And for those, I'll just do that as well. And finally, we have the default case, and that's just do nothing. Okay, so now we can worry about what we're doing inside of here. And um, what well, basically what we do is we just uh, we just change the anchor. I mean the constraints so that they are constraining onto the same view so uh, constant self dot left anchor and constant is zero I need to make sure it's active and so basically here we just uh, where is it where is it there we go so we just send them all to the same since uh, this is if you think about it like a square the top and the bottom one uh, these ones are basically here to here which is also the same as the left and right sort of so right anchor uh, and the constant zero is active equal to true and subview dot high anchor now this is equal to the thickness because that's like the thickness of the line so uh, constant and this is just equal to thickness dot active is equal to true so before adding more let me do the same thing for the left and right except this time it's a little different so we have a top anchor a uh, bottom anchor and we have self dot top anchor and self the bottom anchor there and then for the height it's actually width now because 
if a square the left and right is actually width instead of going up and down so yeah and that's the same and now we can specify if it's a uh, top or bottom or left and right so to do that we just do if edge is equal to dot top else and I can do the same here so if edge is equal to left and here we can do subview.topanchor.constraint is equal to self.topanchor uh, the constraint is zero dot active the true else it will be the bottom anchor okay and let me just copy and paste all of that stuff in into these sides except it's left and right okay uh, left anchor is equal to left anchor and right anchor is equal to right okay so now I can just uh, change a view here so to add this is really simple all you do I'm going to do plain view dot add border and we can choose a side you want it to be on so we can do all but uh, first let me try something like top color I'll make this the label color and thickness I should do one let me run this And there we go. So you can see that um, you can see that border there. And let me add it to all, so you guys can see it clearer. I could change that thickness as well. Uh, oh, I don't think all works because I didn't think about it in the case here. Whoops. Okay, so let me uh, just do top, and then I can just do all of these: top, bottom, left, right, and I'll make the thickness two instead of one. There we go, so there's our border. And yeah, that is how you add borders. Uh, just add this little extension in, and then you can just add it really simply like this. And you can actually, so any object is a view, it's not just a view, it can be like image view, a switch, a table view, things like that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in, in tomorrow's video. Uh, bye.